Welcome to AllMyGear.com Reviews and today we're doing something different. It's not quite a review and it's kind of an overview. I spent a decent amount of time on Amazon looking for a bicycle for myself that I could use to commute to work here in the urban environment um, that was quite simple, uh, preferably a fixed gear and uh, thin wheels, road wheels and light because I live in an apartment building where I have to carry it up to th uh, three flights of stairs. And I've stumbled upon this bike, which is a Critical Cycles. And what attracted me about this is the fact that it was, it's a fixed gear bike and it is quite light, it's only 25 pounds. However, as you could see, I've added a few things to it and uh, changed some things around. So the whole purpose of this video is just to show you the bicycle and obviously the customizations that I did to this one, which all of this, everything that you see here came out to under $400. Originally this bicycle comes with the BMX style handlebars which I thought they would look pretty funny on this particular bicycle. This is why I decided to take those out and put the Origin 8 bullhorn handles which I really like. Unfortunately these handlebars were a lot thicker comparing to the stock handlebars that came with this bicycle and I ended up having to get a new pair of uh, hand brakes. Uh, to accommodate this particular change and that was a little annoying but I had to be done. The bar tape was actually made by SRAM and it's, they call it SRAM Super Cork and it is amazing. This is my third type of tape to use by different companies and so far I love this. It's very thick, it's comfortable and it doesn't easily rip and I highly recommend this uh, particular tape. Maybe in a different color but from this particular company. Moving towards the back, you can see I have a, a little bag here and a post under it. Both are made by the same company called Avenir. This allows my back to be free and not sweat during the hot New York summers where I could put my bottle of water in here and perhaps my pack of smokes in here and uh, my lunch in there. And the cool thing about this bag is that it has a strap so you could attach it on either side of this bag and just have it as a hang bag. It looks a little weird, but if you chain up your bicycle downstairs and then you take the bag with you to your job and the office, it's very convenient and I really, really like that feature. Now, there are two ways you can ride this bicycle. One way is to ride it as a speed bike where you pedal and you give yourself a break and the, the bike goes as you would. And the other way is kind of like a four-year-old's bicycle where you have to constantly pedal in order to go. If you stop pedaling, you stop and you obviously have to dismantle yourself. When the bike arrived, it automatically was set to option two and I did not enjoy it, I switched it back to option one. And tell you the truth, I hate both of the options. I prefer the old school option where I'd be able to brake with my paddles. It just the way I guess I grew up and I was kind of hoping, I was kind of hoping when I get this bike that would be a, what I could do. Unfortunately I can't. However, it was nice enough to come with the back brake which works really, really well. It is a little weird though, they only came with a back brake and no front brake, but you know, for the price it's not that bad. In terms of visibility, I got myself these uh, waterproof uh, clip-on lights from Amazon that cost like $4, $3 each, and this was particularly not to light my path, it was particularly to uh, be visible. So I have the two red ones in the back, which is one on the bag and one on, by the, under my seat post and two in the front just so I'm, I'll be visible in the middle of the night as I'm biking. And in order for me to actually see, I've been using the, the Planet Bike like for the past four years. I have two of those and both of them work perfectly and I don't only use these particular lights when I go biking, I also use them when I go camping because they, they, they come off and you can use them as flashlights. And I love those lights. They eat a battery a little bit, uh, give, giving you that, but overall it is pretty great. There are a few downsides for this particular bike and don't get me wrong, it costs $250, something like that, it's not bad. However, a few items that I do not like about this bike is one, since it came originally with the BMX handlebars, it was nice and high. When I put these bullhorn handlebars, it's a little too low for me and unfortunately there is no way for me to raise the handlebars on this particular bike. The only way I could do it is if I take it to a shop and they replace all the things over there in order for me to be able to lift it and I'm afraid there's just going to be an additional expense I really don't want to spend. 
Another uh, kind of uh, annoying thing is the paddles. They came originally with straps and I did take them off because the straps were annoying. I really did not need them. I wasn't doing any tricks with this particular bike. I, I did not need them. But even without the straps, the pedals are cheap. They're plastic. They feel cheap. I feel like if my bike falls on concrete, they're gonna crack in half. So if you do decide to buy this particular bike and customize it, I would recommend yourself definitely get new pedals. Other than that, this is a really cool bike, and especially for the price. I would highly recommend it, uh, you know, for a commuter who travels somewhere in a city where you don't have uh, steep hills, like anywhere really except for like Denver or San Francisco, like for New York City or like Philadelphia. This is amazing. You don't need no any gears. Uh, it's absolutely nice. This is like one of the first awmagear.com overviews of a certain item. And yes, it's not a camping item, but it's an item that is a part of my life and I like to share it with you. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions about this bike or any of these products, uh, you know, uh, ask me a question or do a video response. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thanks for checking out this video and make sure to check out owlmangear.com for pictures and more videos of uh, different product that I do review. Also the campgrounds and trails and so forth and so forth if you're into that. Thanks, have a good one.